It might be the offseason, but we have had an abundance of baseball to rip lately. Today we are checking out two boxes of 2023 Leaf Metal Baseball and seeing how it stacks up to the competition. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? RGL coming at you with a brand new release video and today we are checking out some 2023 Leaf Metal Baseball. We have a hobby box and a jumbo box today courtesy of Leaf and my partnership with Leaf which means that at the end of this video we are giving away all of the cards. We're going to give away some cards from this box and we're going to give away these cards later on in a live stream later this week. Uh, so if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always I do appreciate a like as well. So yes, Leaf Metal has arrived and they have dropped draft. This used to be called Leaf Metal Draft. This year it is just Leaf Metal because they have combined the best of the most recent draft class with some of the best names in the sport. And uh, that means, yes, unlike Panini Baseball, we are chasing Shohei Otani. Uh, and uh, some of the top names in the sport that are actively playing, we're also chasing retired greats. I saw Alex Rodriguez on the checklist. I'm sure Ken Griffey Jr. is in there. Uh, the full checklist was not available at the recording of this video. There was like partials, but a feeling it was like incomplete or it just wasn't formatted right. I don't know. Whoa, I'm not reading that crap. Summarize it in one word. Um, but today we're checking out a couple of Leaf products. Uh, being Leaf Baseball, just like Panini, uh, actually different from Panini because there are active MLB players. Uh, unlicensed, which means we're not going to get uh, logos and there's always going to be that crowd of no logos, no deal, and I, and I get you. So, see you guys in the next one when we review uh, Stadium Club. Go! Get out of here! Uh, but, yes, it is a very, very busy time for baseball cards. Uh, just having the release of uh, Bowman's Best, the release of Top Stadium Club coming on up, and uh, also, uh, like, Draft Sapphire. It's just a really busy time. Over on Panini, we just had National Treasures Baseball. We have Flawless coming up. Uh, so it is a very, very busy segment of the hobby in early 2024. Despite there not going to be pitchers and catchers reporting for another month, we have plenty of pitchers and catchers and hitters to find today because we're looking for the big names. Uh, hobby coming in at right around 140 on the secondary. Jumbo coming in, I believe, around 250. Six autographs and two base card in Hobby. And then 10 autographs and four base with a... Uh, Autograph press proof that is uh, in case these I think these used to be BGS slabs and now they're just uh, looks like they're just encased um, So this one's gonna be fun. Uh, let's go ahead once again as you guys know I do want to say before we rip uh, I do have a partnership with leaf both of these boxes were sent to me by leaf uh, And I do have a wholesale account through them as well uh, So whenever they send me product they want uh, my true opinion and uh, I do give away all of the cards So there's not like oh you're bought and paid for you know you guys know how this channel rolls uh, so we're going to give away. Let's see what we get. We'll give some stuff away at the end. They've also sent along some other cards to give away. Uh, literally, I should have took that off. Uh, so they they sent over some pickleball cards, and then they also sent over uh, Ryan Schleckler as well. So we'll give these away on the channel, on, on the video today, and some cards. Um, but let's go ahead and get... Let's set this one off to the side. Let's get into Hobby first. We're going to get six autographs and two base cards. Uh, so six autographs for 140 bucks. That's crazy. You can't really get that anywhere else in the hobby. Of course, being that we see these products all the time from Leaf with, you know, five autographs, six autographs, etc., etc., you're not just going to get first one on top, Shohei Otani, and then Sandy Koufax, and then Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, so you are going to get some names, some lower tier names. I believe they hand collate all these products themselves. Uh, so they have somebody, I think they actually shared a photo recently of putting together, I can't remember what product it was. Uh, but they were showing them putting the products together and so you know They kind of make sure that every box has you know at least a, at least one or two good autos or so uh, And then yeah, let's go ahead and see looks like these might have actually popped out of the jewel case unfortunately um, so Yeah, we don't we don't like that That's okay. And then the base card on bottom. I have a cat. That's just howling uh, Yeah, just I, I don't really I guess we're just gonna spoil that on bottom I don't really like the uh, format. I, I do wish that we would have more of just kind of a pack. And I, this, this, my biggest gripe, I'll tell you right now, my biggest gripe is this inlet right here in, on the inside of the box. Um, so I think we saw the bet, one of the better cards. Uh, that's actually, I think the, pre, the, 
I'm just a mess today. Well, we have a pretty good one on the back. I'm just kind of a mess today. Uh, we're going to kick off with Mitch Jeb on the XRC. Can't believe I did that. I'll try not to do that with the next box. No promise. Uh, that is going to be one of our two base cards. 142 of 189 on that one. Then a nice little one right here. One of the one of the better rookies. You won't find this guy in any Panini products this year. Uh, you'll find him in Tops, obviously, in Bowman. But Corbin Carroll. And that one's going to be numbered 5 of 5 on the Corbin Carroll. So we're giving that one away to somebody in the comment section. We can't give that one away. That one's pretty cool. That's like a green wave parallel. There are going to be a bunch of parallels. There's a bunch of different one ones which does kind of water down the one ones Um... But uh, yeah, it's Leaf. You know, like I said, one hundred and forty dollars for five autograph or six autographs. Where are you getting that anywhere else? First auto out is gonna be Matt Shaw. Matt Shaw gonna be numbered uh, three of three. We've all oh, I like the look of that one. It's kind of like a Mojo parallel of Blake Dunn. Blake Dunn. Like I said in my uh, Bowman draft video, I'm not very familiar on some of the draft names. I just don't get to follow minor league baseball the, the same way that I do with major league baseball. I apologize. But I do know the next guy. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Baseball top 100, Brady House for the Nationals. And Brady might make his way on up this year. Might, might, might make his way up to the bigs. I'm not sure. Ooh, nice auto underneath it, too. Uh, that is going to be two of eight on the top 100. And then we've got Austin Charles and Blake Mitchell on the duel. It's going to be a dual crystal, and I think we all saw the card on the back. Uh, that one is going to be number... Oh, that's a one one of course. Of course it's a one one Austin Charles and Blake Mitchell. There's like six... I think there's six or so different one ones in this product. Uh, so Austin Charles and Blake Mitchell. And then our final card on back. This one is sick. Sick. Uh, Jackson Churio. Sticker auto on that one, unfortunately. But, you know, we see the same elsewhere. It's okay. We saw it all across Tops Update and Bowman's Best. Not not just Leaf doing stickers. Uh, six of eight on that one. And uh, we're giving that one away to somebody today. We're giving away that whole box to somebody. And uh, actually, we'll, we'll split it up. We'll, we'll figure out what we're giving away. And our press proof on back was another top 100. That's like a green pulsar of Nolan Chanel. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the one-on-one pre-production proof. So it's like... Um, not a full card because you can see like here this one's kind of thick kind of a 35 point this one's a very very thin card and you've got the leaf the the press proof which is kind of like an authentication and then you got the same sticker on the back so leaf proofs are kind of cool i have a couple of them for the pc i have a nice sean kemp uh and then let's go ahead and check out jumbo now so jumbo coming in at around 250 bucks 10 autographs four base cards uh seven autographs and one jumbo exclusive and then the the slab proof as well and, uh, yeah, everything that we pull uh, in this one, we're probably going to give away in a future live stream. Whatever our next upcoming live stream is, we'll give these away as part of our cha uh, chat giveaways, which we do. Uh, we do those pretty consistently when we stream. Let's see if we can not spoil things this time. Let's see if we can not spoil things. So you do get just another box. Just a, just a larger box has actually two inlets. Yeah, nothing under there. Boxes have a high-quality feel. And uh, let's try not to. I've, I've had, I've had adventures in the past with, uh, with these boxes. That one actually came off. Usually that sticker's hard. I try to like cut the sticker, and it ends up being a mess. Uh, let's see if I can actually do, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Then we go like that. We go like that. Just don't. Can we get individually wrapped packs? I'm much, I'm much better with individually wrapped packs. All right, here we go. Uh, so we're going to get four base cards, ten autographs, and uh, first base on top is somebody I'm not familiar with, uh, Evamelic Ortiz, and that one is going to be a seven of eight. Second base card, we've got Emmanuel Bonilla, who has been in some Bowman sets most recently. That one is going to go 46 of 139. Our third base card gonna be Braden Taylor. And that one's one of one. That one's another one on one. Like I said, there are a few different one on one sets. So uh, it does kind of lessen the value of a one on one a little bit. But uh, once again, 250 bucks. I think we have another one on one. I think I see a plate in here as well. Mookie. So we are getting active players. 
three of seven on the Mookie. It's actually refreshing, you know, because we've opened a lot of Panini baseball on the channel. And, uh, like, select first off the line, awesome product. Uh, and then we've opened a lot of NT recently. And you get all the prospects, you get all the legends in those sets, but, you know, you just have to wrap your mind around, like, hey, I'm not going to see anybody who's currently playing unless they were a prospect who got called up in 2023. Mookie as well right there. Adele Amador on the, ooh, that's a pretty card on the Diamond. Uh, Diamond Wonders. And we have a plate auto coming up. Uh, that is going to go one of six on the Diamond Wonders. It's a cool card. Cool card. Rocky theme too. I'm curious if that's like a purple parallel to six or uh, they're all themed based off of the, the team. 101 printing plate. Let's play the who is it game. Uh, pitcher. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. I see an M. I see an M and like a, maybe an S, but I, I don't I don't have a good name. I, that is going to be uh, Gavin Stone. Gavin Stone 101 printing a plate. So once again, giving away everything that we pull today in these boxes. Everything in this box, we'll give it away in our uh, next live stream. O'Neal Cruz on the Noble. Uh, O'Neal Cruz kind of, he broke his leg last year. He had a really good rookie year, and then he, you know, broke his leg, and hopefully he has a bounce back. Good candidate for comeback player of the year. Uh, two of five on that one. Uh, another Noble, and that is Bryce Matthews. Bryce Matthews on the Noble, and that is going to be six of ten. Got Brock Wilkin. On the Black Pulsar, one of two, and I think just about everybody watching this video should know this ne this name. How about a little Sammy Sosa action? I like it a lot. Sammy Sosa. That's cool. I haven't seen Sammy's auto in a minute. He has not signed in too many products recently. Uh, that is going to be three of seven. Everybody should recognize this name, too. Great rookie in 2023. We got a little Michael Harris. Michael Harris, part of the Braves who are probably my... Honestly, if you're asking me in January who's going to win the World Series, it's going to be Mariners versus Braves. And then Jared Kelenic is going to torch my Mariners because that's all we know in Seattle is pain. Uh, Michael Harris, and that's going to be six of seven. And a pretty good prospect right here. We've also got a Roman Anthony... And that is that same parallel that has been one of one in the past. And uh, that one's actually going to be numbered one of two on the Roman Anthony. And then uh, our, uh, these are going to be our press proofs. Oh boy, that's a nice one on the bottom. Uh, noble press proof of Blake Tidwell, one of one press proof. And our final card of the day, saw it, looks good. We're giving this away in our upcoming stream. That is a one of one press proof of Paul Skeens, one of the big chases in Bowman, top prospect for the um, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Skeens on the, uh, it's kind of fun. Being a press proof, that's kind of fun. I don't know why I expected, I don't know what I expected when I turned that one over. Paul Skeens, um, overall, I would say these two boxes were, you know, not even top tier boxes. I would say these are probably pretty standard boxes, honestly. Um, you know, we missed like the Shohei autos. We did get some really, really good prospects and some 101s, which are much easier to hit in this product than in other products. I'm um, going to take a look again in our hobby box. Nolan Schumer was our press proof. Nice Jackson Cheerio to 8. A dual auto, 1 of 1. Brady House, Blake Dunn, Matt Shaw, and uh, the Carroll to 5, also really nice. I don't know why I didn't sleeve that one on up. And then, uh, yeah, so that was a look at a $140 box. And then uh, from the $250 box, we have the Braden Taylor 1 of 1. I don't know why I'm not sleeving up 1 of 1s these days, but Braden Taylor, we had a, pre a production of Blake Tidwell. And then our autos, we had Roman Anthony, Michael Harris, Sammy Sosa. So 250 bucks, and you're telling me we got a 1 of 1, a Roman Anthony, a Michael Harris, and a Sammy Sosa. And then some good prospects as well. And we had a plate there too. Bryce Matthews, O'Neal Cruz, good bounce back player of the year. Comeback, that was Gavin Stone, Adele Amador. Mookie was like number to seven. Yeah, to seven. Emmanuel Bonilla and uh, Ortiz. And then, of course, the Paul Skeens as well. That was that was actually a pretty crazy box. So all of these cards uh, will be given away in our next live stream. Uh, these products, I like them. Obviously, uh, as you saw in my last uh, video where we checked out Leaf Eclectic, my biggest gripe continues to be the packaging with these products. I seem to struggle with it. Um, so I don't know how we can fix that. 
I do like that wild card puts their autos in individual packs. It just makes the products a lot more fun. I know that would obviously raise the cost on um, Leafs End to do something like that, but I would like to see improved packaging. Um, obviously, you know, I already know what the comment section for this one's going to look like. Well, they're unlicensed cards. They don't sell for what Topps Autograph sell for. Like, we get that. Like, I'm not trying to hide that fact is all. But with a product like this, just like with Eclectic, the value is most obviously there. There's always going to be boxes that are really, really good and always going to be some boxes that are on the not so great side. But with a product like this, you spend 140 on a hobby box, you're not walking away with under $20 worth of cards, you know. Probably a bad box, you'll get maybe like 40 to 50 which say what you will about the singles market in correlation to the price of wax um, but 33 percent return on an average to below average box is actually really really strong in the hobby um so i really hope that the sentiment on unlicensed cards i really hope that the sentiment on you know leaf cards wild card etc all the other manufacturers who are putting more effort and are putting more thought and and really trying to you know create compelling products at price points uh, that people want to pay. Uh, we hear it all the time, you know, Bowman's Best is a $300 product or, you know, Absolute Football is a $700 product. It, it's a stupid product at $700. Uh, and then you have products like, you know, this one, products like uh, some of the stuff Wildcard does um, coming out at these more compelling price tags that people want to pay, people want, you know, I hate to break it to you guys. If you, if you want Prism Football at under $200 a hobby box, you're not getting it anymore. You're, you're just not. It's it's never coming back. And if it does, then the, the hobby is going to be in a world of hurt. That's just a reality. Just like how you're not going to a restaurant and getting a really good meal, you know, a, a nice steak dinner for 20 bucks. It's not happening unless you're going to Denny's. That's just the world and inflation and stuff that plays outside of sports cards. And now I'm going on a little diatribe. But this one, these are the first two boxes that I've opened. And uh, I've seen a little bit more of it get opened. And this is pretty par for the course, honestly. Maybe slightly above average on the jumbo. Um, but 140 bucks, 250 bucks. It's it's a winner in my book. It, it really is. Uh, my, my biggest critiques are just, you know, there's six different one-on-ones. Which, you know, kind of like Chronicles. Uh, football Chronicles, basketball uh, from Panini. Just kind of, there's a bunch of different one-on-ones. So it kind of lowers the, the, the feeling of hitting a one-on-one. Uh, and then, of course, I... Leaf leaf packaging versus run good life continues to be the best feud of 2024 um, Let's go ahead. Like I said give those away during one of our live streams But let's go ahead and give away some of these cards that uh, leaf sent along So let's go ahead and do that divide these up evenly and we're gonna pick two winners today Let's see the Corbin Carroll can go over there the Jeb can go over there the shot can go over there the Dunn can go over there We'll put the Brady house right there. We'll put that one right there Jackson can go over there and uh, Nolan Chanel can go right there. So uh, let's go ahead and give away some cards to the comment section. In order to be entered, you got to be subscribed to the channel. Of course, you got to give this video a like. And uh, because Leaf will be watching, I, they just want your honest feedback. And I want your honest feedback too. What do you think of Leaf Metal Baseball? Uh, what do you guys think of this one? Leave me a comment. And in a couple of weeks, we will pick a winner in uh, one of our daily videos. And then uh, we'll give away everything from the jumbo in an upcoming live stream. So if you want a chance to win those cards, uh, you got to be a part. got to hang out in our next live stream. And uh, during one of our chat giveaways, we will give away those cards. That is going to do it for me today. We'll catch you on down the road.